Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'm ambitious in hoping that we can get to three topics in my five minutes, um, all related to how your uh, two departments are working together um, uh, with resources provided in the American Rescue Plan. Um, I want to start with mental health services. Uh, uh, Senator Casey earlier uh, brought that up uh, 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 with you. Um, as we do reopen schools and recognize the mental health toll that the pandemic has uh, had on our nation's youth and families, um, I think there should be a focus on making mental health care um, more accessible in schools, um, including by promoting and expanding the availability of school-based mental health programs. <coughs> um, I'm certainly working with the uh, chair of this committee in our other uh, joint uh, committee appointment on the uh, subcommittee on labor, HHS, and appropriations to um, emphasize and, and uh, elevate funding to expand school-based mental health uh, programs um, in Wisconsin and across the country. Um, can you talk about how your agencies are collaborating to expand access to mental health services in schools and uh, what else you need from Congress in order to advance this effort? and start with uh, Secretary Cardona. Thank you very much for the question. And I'll be brief because I know you have three topics and I know my colleague here wants yes. to speak. Thank you for bringing up the importance of social emotional well-being of students and the fact that we have to build back better. We can't go back to how it was before. Our students have been traumatized. I would argue that before the pandemic, we should have been doing more. Uh, the collaboration has been great. I recently had a road trip and uh, Dr. Vivek uh, Murthy, uh, the U.S. Surgeon General, joined and we were talking about the importance of mental health access. Uh, I visited a high school where they're restructuring their day to provide mental health access and social emotional well-being for 6,000 high school students. In the ARP, funding is there for that. The $1 billion in the Build Back Better agenda, I have to mention, to double the number of social workers, school counselors, and then the importance of community schools also to make sure that outside agencies are coming in. I can continue. It is a priority. Our return to school roadmap has that as a priority. We're going to continue to do that. Great. Secretary Bracero. Microphone. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Senator, I'll just simply add. Uh, the Department of Education and uh, HHS's CDC have been working closely together to make sure that we're using the data properly together. We're constantly working to make sure that we're informing school districts as best we can what the science is telling us. And so they're working together very closely and that's a, that's a good sign. As I mentioned to you before, we've made historic investments in mental health and in substance use disorder as a result of the work that you all did to pass the American Rescue Plan. And I will mention something very important, not just between departments, but within my own agency, because we're so large and we have so many uh, agencies that touch uh, mental health. I established uh, a, a coordinating council within HHS to make sure that we're all working together, SAMHSA, uh, Administration for Children and Families, so that we're not missing anything. We're working together and working with our, our sister departments. Um, the second topic I wanted to uh, mention is uh, the funding for uh, testing in the uh, uh, American Rescue Plan. Um, I am encouraged by the administration's um, efforts to follow the science. Um, but unfortunately, conventional testing, especially in schools, has come with challenges. Um, we've heard about some of them this morning. And we need to make sure we're advancing innovative approaches to keeping our kids and teachers uh, healthy. At the University of Wisconsin, we're working on a, a proposal to expand surveillance of respiratory viruses, including COVID-19 and influenza, by collecting air samples from schools. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, they've been struggling to access funding from the American Rescue Plan because uh, uh, entities in the state are focused on funding conventional diagnostic testing. How are your departments working together to evaluate innovative approaches to testing that might be very beneficial to uh, schools and school settings? Um, and will you commit to providing states with the flexibility they need to expand and enhance testing, including through innovative proposals? 
So I'll start off by saying uh, yes, definitely we, we recognize the importance of testing and accessibility to testing, uh, surveillance testing for our students. Uh, that's how we keep our schools safe and that's how we're gonna keep our children in the classroom, which is a priority for, for all of us. We've seen great examples in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And what we're doing is lifting up best practices. One of the sites that I visited with Dr. Murthy last week was a access family center where they provided testing and they partnered with the schools. So we went to see that firsthand um, to see how it worked and we want to make sure we're promoting best practices to educators across the country. Senator, I'll simply add that along with working together department-wide, uh, we've also provided about $10 billion through CDC directly to the school districts, the states and school districts, so they can start doing the testing they need. We continue to provide technical assistance, collaborating with them, trying to give them the guidance they may need to know how best to use those resources. And we're ready to do more. Yeah. Thank you. I'll state the last question for the record, and, um, and you can follow up. But I um, wanted to know how your agencies are collaborating with experts in um, industry in the ventilation space to ensure that the improvements supported by the American Rescue Plan uh, funding um, are designed and installed and maintained in a way that um, you know, promotes uh, uh, health and uh, minimizes um, uh, illness among students, teachers, and staff. I'll have my staff follow up with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Sen Senator Tuberville. 